connection professionally with Schneider National Carriers. I left under good terms. I've got not a bad word to say about Schneider. Are there things I would change? Yes. Are there things that they would probably change about me and the way I operated? Yeah, probably, but more than likely not because uh, I made them a lot of money. But judging by the standards of my past, I made me a lot of money. So, uh, the old girl's doing good. I had a scare the other night. Came up Fancy Gap on the way out of the Carolinas into Virginia. My first load with ELE Logistics. And, uh... I had the mill light, the check engine light, and uh, the DEF light flashing. And that's not the first time I've ever seen that, but it's very intermittent when it happens. And it's usually whenever I'm pulling up. Pulling a hill, pretty heavy. Uh, you know, heavy load coming up mountains, get everything a little warm. And that's when that'll happen. Then I pulled in the parking lot of the uh, Circle K up there. <clears throat> and as I proceeded to go inside, well, as, but right before I got out to go inside and use the restroom and run a little regen on the truck, uh, the stop engine light came on. Now, I know that that means stop the engine, but it derated me to 25% of engine power capacity and locked you down to five miles an hour. None of this is old news. There's all kinds of guys you can subscribe to, especially like mechanics or uh, you know dealers that make their own videos on how to fix some of this stuff or explain what some of these problems may be caused by filling the blank, whatever. <clears throat> so I ran a force regen. Uh, with my holding override and regen on my dash for about 10 to 12 seconds, and it did one. Then I did a second one because it didn't change anything. Well, and I got started getting frustrated because uh, nothing smelled out of order, nothing looked out of order. Um, I know that sensors can throw ghosts, and sensors can also do their job sometimes, so you're kind of gambling. So I went ahead and uh, I unplugged my battery cables for a few minutes approximately 30 minutes um, you know and then I plugged it back in I cycled the key like six seven times let it do the full uh, computer startup <clears throat> nothing changed so I started the truck back up and I did one more regen at this point I'm probably melting my truck down uh, but that third regen it did it for a lot longer than the other two I have no idea why I did that a few moments later I called my wife and I said I guess we're stuck looking ugly until I get the hook out here. As soon as I got ready to make that call while I was on the phone with my wife getting ready to get off the phone, the lights went off except for the bill light. What? Right? What happened? Went all the way through the rest of what, you know, finished Virginia, mountains of West Virginia, all the way up to Ohio into Delaware for delivery. Delivered, turned the truck off while I was waiting over there for my next uh, load to work out. And as soon as I turned the key on, mill light's gone. Here's the deal. Uh, I'm gonna plug it up, have them check the DPF filter life, check the DOC uh, inlet and outlet pressure and inlet and outlet temperature, all of that jazz. I don't wanna tear things open if it's not necessary. It's the same old crap that all of y'all probably got if you've had those same lights come on that I'm talking about. And it says DEF something rate is not right, but then it just goes away. I've had the DEF awning installed. They're not seeing any problems with that. I keep my DEF filter changed. The doser valve's been cleaned. I'm gonna throw some numbers up on the board for you clowns and see what you all think about uh, my, I, I'm basically gonna do an end of chapter text with music for Take you. Take the exit on the uh, right. To show you what my, not, my numbers House. were for my entire tenure at Schneider and why I do think you should recommend it, or why I would recommend it to you. My business venture with Schneider National Carriers and an SFI lease truck began on September the 4th, 2020 and ran through August the 30th, 2022. During this time, I drove my truck 230,866 miles. Throughout those 725 calendar days, my truck generated $477,497.06 in revenue. 
Total operating costs came to $234,174.58, including the truck purchase. Averaging $2.07 a mile for all miles, my operating costs were $0.98 cents per mile, leaving me $1.09 per mile profit. 725 calendar days, 519 working days out. That average proved to be $920.03 per working day. That was $451.20 cost per operating day and $468.83 profit for a total career profit at Schneider of $243,322.48. Wow. I own my truck outright, title in hand, no CSA violations, no citations. I didn't have any breakdowns, I didn't have any accidents, and I averaged 7.2 miles per gallon during my career at Schneider. God is definitely good. Here's some close calls for fun.